Okay, so it's cold in the house. It's really cold, so it's the middle of May. And the best way to warm up in our house is to uh, boot up UDK because it gets my PC going. Uh, so I figured I'd do a tutorial. Um, and I recently made a car paint shader. Uh, and a lot of CG Mayor has been asking me to go and do that. Um, but I figure. I should probably do the fong first because it's based off the fong and otherwise it'd be a really long video so I'm going to do that first um, I opened up or I've seen from the other day or the other week or whenever it was uh, same package um, yep let's get started uh, I'll make a new material uh, I'm just going to call this Fong for the minute. Oh, Fong. Okay. Uh, so, I'll start off with the Fong. Um, we need to make that Lambert again. So, it's the light vector, which is the angle of the light coming into the object. And we need a normal vector, but I can use the normal map again because we have it loaded in. Um, and the normal vector is basically the angle that the normal is facing of the object, uh, which is why we're using the normal map because the the normal map adjusts it. Uh, and then we're going to dot product them, which works out like the correlation. Um, that's our Lambert, I'll just show you. Oh, made a mistake. I guess that's custom. <laughs> Love custom line. And custom line. So there's a. Lambert, same as last time. Okay, so this is where we're gonna do new stuff. Um, I'm just gonna call this Lambert so we don't get confused. Lambert. Okay, so what um, what's good about Fong is that it has reflection, it has specular reflection. Um, in a sense, we're not actually going to do reflections of the environment. We're basically going to do a highlight of the object. Um, I guess that's how I'd describe it. Uh, you know what I mean, anyway. You know what specular is. Um, so to do this, we need a reflection vector. Um, I'm going to use this, but I found a better node that does it better in UDK. Uh, Vector. And what that is, is the angle that when light hits it, it's the negative angle of, I'm going to draw it um, in Photoshop, I've not got a tablet plugged in so bear with me. Um, so what it is, that's our normal direction. Uh, yeah, that's our normal. This is our light. Our reflection vector will be the exact opposite of this, in theory. And that's our reflection. So anything coming in here, in here will reflect out that way. Um, if you've ever, you know, looked in a mirror, you can see round corners because of this principle. Um, and that's how I get my head around it. Um, okay, so um, back in UDK, uh, we'll build the specular. Uh, to do this, we can use a reflection vector, which uh, calculates all the work for us um, and we need another light vector and we dot product 
to those to work out the angle of reflection. Um, I should have normalized these again. So just normalize them to a make sure they can't go beyond the zero one range. And if I was doing it this way as well, I would also dot product in the normal map because that's affecting the surface normals of the reflection vector. Um, okay, so um, that's how you'd normally probably go about building a reflection vector. The problem I have is that this reflection vector node. Um, it seems to go off uh, vertexes and not per pixel, which we need because we're using a normal map. Oh, we need because we're using a normal map. Um, so there's an odd in the material function library called uh, custom reflection vector. There's also a reflection vector soft, which seems to blend between the vertex and pixel version, if that's what it is. I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, I'm just going to use custom reflection vector for this purpose. We'll get rid of that. Plug this in. And we plug a normal map into the back of it. Because it takes the normal map into effect. To account even. Uh, we don't need this. So this is actually a bit smaller, node wise. It's one dot product less. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to multiply in our colour, but first we want to have a bit of control over the fall off of our specular. So to do that we use the specular power, um, which is just powering our specular using an exponent. Uh, so that's our base of our power, and an exponent's just a number. Uh, I'm going to use a scalar. And I'm going to name it uh, spec power. And I'll leave that at zero for the minute. We'll come in and change that in a minute. Uh, and I'm going to multiply in a color as well. So it's M and click for multiply. And I want a vector parameter because that gives us the color wheel. This is going to be our spec color. And for the purpose of this, I'm just going to make this white so that we can see it working. Uh, I might turn it back down a bit so we can see it working. Um, and I'm going to give our Lambert a color as well. So, uh, Another multiply and another vector parameter, and this is our either our diffuse or our albedo. Um, we need to multiply using this as a mask, uh, and we'll put a color on this so that we can see. Nice orange. Um, so that should all be working now. Uh, we're going to add these together. It's quite simpler, uh, so that it puts our specular over the top of our Lambert. Um, let's put that into there, and and that into there, and that should be working now. Let's plug that into custom line. And the reason it's completely washed out in the minute is because our spec power is zero. It's not powering it by anything. Um, so 
we'll give this a number and you see our spec come straight into play and that's uh, that spec done let's uh, put it on our model okay so I've um, I've put it on the model as you can see the, uh, the shadows are reflecting blue um, this is because I actually got something wrong um, the normalize it isn't zero one range it's minus one one range um, it's not a problem what we need to fix that is we need to clamp it to zero one range um, so we just need to break it in between the power and the dot and add a constant clamp which is sets the minimum to zero and the maximum to one. Plug that in. Click OK, and you'll see that that solves all reflecting blue problems. Um, and that marks an end to this tutorial. Uh, next time I will expand on this fong because it's pretty useless at the minute because the default lighting model is Fong um, and I'll turn it into a Kai paint shader with rim lighting and actual reflections that reflect the environment using a cube map system um, okay I'm off, thank you for watching